Black holes have long been at the forefront of science fiction, but what do we actually know about them? They're incredible things, and in today's episode we'll take a closer look at one of the most exotic objects in the universe. Okay, a black hole is something so dense that not even light can escape from its gravity. Anything that has mass can be said to have what we call an escape velocity. This is just the speed that is needed to break free of the gravity pulling you back. The Earth has an escape velocity. Shuttles and rockets have to be travelling at 7 miles a second to leave the Earth. So what about the escape velocity for a black hole then? Well it turns out that a black hole's gravity is so strong that the escape velocity needed is faster than the speed of light. In 1905 Albert Einstein told us, in his theory of special relativity, that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. This is the cosmic speed limit. This is why black holes appear black. There can be no light reaching our eyes from it. The point at which gravity becomes too strong, the point of no return if you like, is called the event horizon. Anything can be a black hole providing it's squashed down small enough. If you squashed the earth down to the size of your fingernail, it too would have strong enough gravity to stop all the light and everything else escaping. To see how black holes form though, we need to look at the lifetimes of stars much bigger than our sun. Imagine we have a star, let's say at least 15 times bigger than our sun. Once the stars run out of fuel to keep it shining, it will begin to die. It will swell up and turn into a red giant. Red because it's getting cooler as it expands. Then it will explode out into space as a supernova, but it's what's left behind that's most important. The core of the dead star collapses back into itself so incredibly quickly that it forms an exceptionally dense object. We have our black hole. As we've seen, this density is so great that light cannot escape from it. Let's take a closer look as to why nothing can escape from a black hole. For this, we need to return to good old Albert. Not content with gifting the world with special relativity, he went on to give us general relativity. This told us that the three dimensions of space and the one of time are actually tied up together in four dimensional space time. This can be thought of as a massive flat sheet. Everything with mass bends this space time. You can see here that stars cause small bumps in space time. But look at the black hole on the left. It makes a massive hole in space-time because it is so massive and so dense. You could almost compare it to water swirling around your plug hole. The sides are so steep that everything, including light, gets sucked straight in. Scientists believe that right at the centre of a black hole, that is at the bottom of the hole in space-time, there is a singularity. This is where all the mass is squashed down into a point of zero size. This has proved to be a pain in the neck for scientists as it involves infinities and infinities make all their equations stop working. OK, that's about all we've got time for in our exploration of black holes, but we'll leave the subject with this fact. Astronomers are pretty certain that most galaxies, including our own Milky Way, have supermassive black holes at the centre. The one at the centre of the Milky Way has a mass of approximately 4 million times that of our Sun, and is 10 times smaller than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Now that's fun. So until next time, remember, Science is fun.